Welcome to the LiveTiles Design Responsive Canvas. From your home page, simply select Blank Responsive Page and you'll land here. To start building your responsive canvas, you simply drag and drop rows onto the page. Here, I'm going to start by adding three rows. Now, let's add some columns. I'm clicking here to select a six column layout for each row, but you can also give each row a different number of columns, if you prefer, just like this. Continue setting up the rest of your page using the options for tablet and phone layout. Here I'm choosing the tablet layout to be double rows and for phone, double stacked. You can also add in nested rows, which introduces a row within a row. When you're ready to add the page elements, simply click on the tiles drawer and start dragging things on. I'm going to add some mini tiles and rectangles, news and also a map. See how you can have multiple tiles within the same container? These tiles can all be configured in the same way as a normal page. Now, you're most likely in the responsive canvas to create an optimized experience for different devices. So you can now choose to hide certain rows on different devices. To check out how this looks on each device, jump up here to preview width and select the size you want to look at. As you can see, if I click on a thousand pixels, the page immediately renders my design to that size, and again at 800. You can even add new tiles as you go, and continue reviewing the sizes. Jump to Quick View to check out what your responsive page looks like fully functional. And again, see a preview of each of the sizes in End User View. Once your page is ready, Head up to Save As, where you can choose to save the design as a template or a page. A template is a design that other people or yourself can continue to use for multiple pages. We're going to save it as a page, inserting a name and heading into the Asset Picker to select the desired location. In this case, I'm choosing the Live Design subsite and then Site Pages as the home for my page. Click OK and you'll get a pop-up confirming that your save was successful. One final thing I'd like to show you is how to delete a row. To do this, jump back into the Design Canvas and select Rows. Navigate down to the row you wish to remove and simply drag it up to the top drawer. As you're dragging, you'll see the page telling you to drag and drop your discarded row into the grey section. Row deleted. Now you're all set up to use your responsive page.